this city has been plagued by gang violence. The 21st century has not been kind to the city of Acapulco. The Mexican drug war here has decimated international tourism. And since 2010, there has been a reduction of 85% in international tourists here. This is because this Bay Area and the shipping port is hotly contested between the local authorities here, the government authorities and the rival gangs who are battling it out for control of the port and the shipping routes that come from all the way from Panama all the way up to San Francisco in the United States. Going solo down in Acapulco. Since 2010, many tourists have met their demise here in Acapulco. Either quite literally being caught in the crossfire of rival gangs shooting it out in the hotel zone, but others have been victims of deliberate set out plans, including horrendous crimes such as kidnapping, rape, robbery, and murder. And it's not uncommon here in this city for bodies of victims to be found in the mornings, dumped, either decapitated or dismembered. And it's because of these crimes, authorities in the United States, France, Switzerland and Canada have advised against all travel to this region of Mexico. But join me now as I look for a taxi and head to La Reina, the most dangerous barrio in Acapulco. Hola, ah, uh, sí, sí, sí. Yo soy uh, la reina. Say that again. La reina. La reina. La reina. Sí. La renacimiento. Ah, renacimiento. Ah. Well, I don't suggest you that, but it's up to you, man. Yeah, man. I just want to see it. It's out of the city. It's another. It's like another city. Okay, now, if you want to go and look around, I can make you deal to drive you around in Baton. Oh, I want to have a walk around. Go to. Yeah, get don't walk drinks. over there, please. I would never walk in that area. Please. Yeah? No. It's especially no gringos, you. eh? Especially <laughs> you. That's, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I won't suggest you something like that. No. You want to stay there? It's up to you. Yeah, see. But I, I won't suggest you never that you stay walking like nothing. Because I promise you that you won't come out. <laughs> we'll see then. We'll see. No, I we'll see. I'll come back like tomorrow and I'll say I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, maybe you're a good fighter and things like that, but those guys use guns, you know? They don't use it. See, 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 see. They shoot you, you know, for see. nothing. Believe me, there is not one day in the whole year there is no two to this person die in the daytime. Yeah. They always kill somebody, for any reason. Como se llama? Bernabé. Bernabé? Yeah. What is your name? Josh, Joshua. Joshua, okay. Nice. It's like a... No, you don't have to use it. No? No. Ah, oh, well, come on then. <laughs> no, not here. I'm not worried about safety here, eh? Oh, no, no. I'm a good driver. No, I believe you. Are you from Acapulco? Yep. Yeah? Have you seen the change in the last 20 years? Yeah. Yeah, so this is why I wanted to come here and see what it was all like, because I remember when I was a kid, oh, okay, it was yeah. still like, yeah, Acapulco is the same. place to go, but now I don't know yeah. anyone who comes you here. Know, if I'm telling you this, it's not because I want to scare you. No. Oh no, I get that. Yeah, no. yeah. It's because it's the way it is. Yeah, of course. I, I swear to God that they do the crazy things for nothing. They kill people for nothing. You know the guys that they charge you. I, I don't know how do you say in the United States when you when you have to pay to stay in a place. It's like protection, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard about the taxi drivers. I heard there yeah. was a protest and saying that yeah, they, don't, yeah. they don't feel like they're being looked after by the government. You, you pay every day. Not a big quantity, but 20, 50, 100 pesos, depends on the business. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. pays over there, you know? Just all protection money. It's like, Yeah, well, something like that. Yeah. Not exactly, but they always charge you for nothing. And if you don't pay one day or two days, you know what they do? What? They go and shoot you for nothing. Wow. Yeah, that's the way it is. Wow. Over like what? Four or five dollars? Yeah. For nothing sometimes. You know? Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And I know. Those guys are crazy, you know. I don't mean to say they are not wild, they're crazy because in my mind I have no place to think that how, how can you kill any person for nothing? Yeah, yeah. For yeah. nothing. Even if they don't sometimes they don't got money to pay, you know? Yeah. Of because sometimes there is nothing to 
to sell, you know, they It's a hard living here. Like, everyone's hustling. Everyone's yeah. working hard yeah. trying to make a little bit of money. I'll I always see what. it on the street here yeah. when people trying to serve drinks in the cars, in the traffic, yeah, just anything trying... to make a bit of money. Yeah, everyone wants to, wants to survive, you know. Yeah. Because that, that's the word to say, survive, you know. You survive, know? exactly. Yeah. I've seen that in, uh, was it 2018, that the, the police mm -hmm. were basically disbanded and the military came in and uh, overtook them because of the corruption here. Has, it, has that changed it for the benefit, like for the positive, or has nothing really happened? You know, in the last, in the last 20 years at least, Acapulco becomes like a jungle, you know? Yeah? We're only the most stronger survive. It's a beautiful jungle. Yeah, well, in this area, it seems like everything, everything is different. And when you go to those places, yeah. you see the difference. Like the it, contrast. It, exactly. See, I'm from here, I'm a native of Acapulco. Yeah. And I, obviously, you, you now you're here, you know, you say, oh, this is beautiful. But when you go to places like that, then you say, ah, that's so beautiful. That's real, Acapulco. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Renacimiento is a... Renacimiento. It's a new to another place, exactly the same. The name is La Zapata. All those places I consider in Acapulco, on the whole country, like the most dangerous place to pull around, also with the, some places of Tijuana, some places of Ciudad Juarez. The overwhelming feeling I've oh. No, no, sorry, I just called <laughs> The backfiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. I don't know, I remember. They I, I forget a lot of words in English because I, I have a long time without speaking any English, you know, because there are some more American tourists. When you don't use the language, mm. and sometimes you forget technical words, you know. It's sad that people don't come here because like, I've been here a week and uh -huh. I haven't felt unsafe once. It's a bit intimidating having so much military around, but at the same time they don't make you feel unsafe. They're just there doing their job. But yeah, the most like that the overwhelming feeling I've had in Mexico is that people are friendly, people yeah. are welcoming, and they actually want tourists. Yeah, the people is friendly. So that's the factor here. The other side. Oh, I see. They are they are together in front of one each other. Yeah, and Zapata is quite dangerous too. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's, it's exactly like a Renacimiento. Right, see you later on. I'll maybe see you tomorrow. <laughs> if I survive, I'll see you then. Gracias. All the best. So I've just been dropped off here in Lorena. Apparently this is where the beginning of all the action is. So we're gonna have a walk, walk around, see what we can see. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. She may be wondering why Acapulco has gone from being the go-to getaway location for millionaires and the elite to be in what it is now, essentially a gangland war zone. Well, in 2009, one of the leaders of the cartels here, he was executed by the authorities. And essentially, that created a power vacuum for the control of the state. Within the same cartel where the leader was killed, there was in-group fighting. Who was going to take control? This fighting saw the end of that cartel, the Bertrand Yeva cartel, I believe it's called. The different members and the different factions of the cartel turned themselves into different groups. So now it's more like neighborhood gangs here rather than the cartels that are in control. Some of the gangs, the 221 or the Los Locos, the Crazies, these guys specialize in their criminality and they're hired by the cartels when they want a specific job done. So for example, if the cartels need kidnapping done, they may go to the Los Locos. We need your specialists for this. They're almost like private subcontractors working on any other type of job. So the way that the gangs operate here are very, is very different to the way that they operate across the rest of the country. The guys here specialize in their craft, whether it be murder, rape, kidnap, or whatever else. Centro? Is this El way? Centro. Is this this way? Pero tienen que agarrar un camión por ahí adentro. Ya, yes, that way. Ajá, un camión por ahí. En la calle de aquí, van oh, camiones. Sí. Gracias. ¿En Estados Unidos cómo está? Bien. Nunca <laughs> ayuda yo. Right, kids. Have a good one. All the best. Mucho gusto.
See some of the local kids there, friendly, interested, what's going on? Why is there a gringo in the town? The Spanish will get better, I will start understanding what's going on. But for now, we've just got to make do. Anyway, so they've told me the central is this way, so that's where I'm going to head. Maybe grab a beer and some food now, because I am getting a bit hungry and I am feeling a bit parched. Sure, what that's all about. In Costera, in hey, Costera, the Donde is Costera. Puedes agarrar un, un transporte de los que pasan ahí, sí. un amarillo. Y te lleva hasta donde está la playa. Y si Gracias. no, pues aquí a la vuelta también está este. This way. Los parques. Y Gracias. Y, pero estás bien alto, ¿eh? ¿Eh? Estás muy alto, digo. <risa> has, has, has de tener una beat cool, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah. Um, lo siento. Que has de tener una enorme polla. Mi español es poquito. Mira. Sí, sí, sí. <risa> Gracias, uh, unfortunately not. <laughs> unfortunately not. Gracias, right. All the best, my brother. <laughs> bye bye. Right, so, <laughs> there's a bit of a language barrier here. So we've been using translator, and uh, I got the feeling that guy was looking at me like he wanted a piece. And then he's used the translator, and this, <laughs> this is what he said. It looks like you have a huge cock. So apparently, the people here in Lorena are very friendly. That is not what we're here for today. We're gonna have a little keep mooching around. He said there's not really much fun, to, there's not much places to have fun here. He told me to go back to the beach. But we're gonna keep looking, keep searching, make a day of it. Do you order for here or that? Is this, is this cute for this? So here, yeah? Gracias. Ah, I love it. Me encanta. Ah. Gracias. What happened to you? What, what happened to me? What do you mean? You are me or what? I'm on my own. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just me, solo. Hi. You're not married? No, married. Single. Ah, friendly. English, Inglaterra. Inglaterra? Yeah, I see. And, and two? Acapulco. No, Acapulco. Ay. It's muy bonito. Ay. Mucho de happy, mucho de... Ay. Mucho de gros, mucho de gros. Taking a hit, eh? Okay. De nada, amigo. Mucho gusto. Suerte, amigo. Suerte. Gracias. Oh no, guys, gracias, gracias. We got me melon juice. I'll have, have some chicken. See, gracias. Then we'll go grab a beer. Pretty much every meal in Mexico, you get a selection of salsas. You get a picante one, which is the spicy one. It's usually the green one. You get a salsa, and in here it looks like we've got some beans too. Here. Look how good this chicken goes. I'm gonna give it a try now. I think it's gonna be a bit spicy. It's definitely red hot because it's just come off the grill. But let's see what it's like. Here's a bit. A bit hot. Oh, wow. Yeah, super tasty. Really good. Reminds me of uh, Nando's back home, but a little bit better. Muy rico. Spot on. Right, chicken finished. Time to pay. And then we'll go uh, get train on. Gracias, amigo. ¿Cuánto es? 
50. ¿Cómo te llamas? Fernando. 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 Oh, Fernando. Okay. Mucho gusto, Fernando. Ah, okay. The locals are all friendly here. Yeah. Fernando. Seems happy as Larry. Seems to love his job. Gracias, amigo. Thank you. Gracias. Right, so fed and watered. Let's go find a bar. Can't lie, I'm absolutely loving it in Lorena so far. That chicken was delicious, so was the drink. Nice people, can't complain. Dirty bugger. So this, uh, this way. Gracias, gracias. No, 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 no. Inglaterra, what did you say? Coca? <laughs> that coca? Yeah, down here. Last way to party, the fiesta is this way. Yeah? <laughs> Gracias. Bye bye. Don't know what it is about this shirt, but it seems, or this town, but it seems like everyone wants to be a bit of flirty here. Just found a little market. She was telling me where the beer is where I've just come from, but I'm gonna have a little wonder on this market first. Hola, buenas tardes. That fish was pungent. Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Lo grabando? Hola, ¿qué tal? Pa. Victoria. Una mega grande. Let's have a beer, Victoria. It's a bit bigger than I wanted, but we'll get through it all the same. It's out here. And there's other sides, you get lots of bars like this out here in Mexico, but they're not actually bars we go inside. People just sit outside in the street drinking outside of the little bar. Wait! How much? Quanto? <laughs> yeah, 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 Hey, this way, hey, eh? Hey. A poco? Okay. Pero pues como no te ven de aquí, te van a querer. Tumbar las ligas de allá. Allá te van a quitar las ligas. Las ligas. Ajá. Las ligas. This guy. Stay away. This guy, this guy, this guy. Right. Grab my So it turns out I've walked all the way into Zapata, which is the region next to Lorena. Both of them are supposedly fairly dangerous. Hello, gross, as they say here. Just had a few, well, a beer with them boys there, and they told me not to come in this direction that I'm now walking at because I said it's a little bit dangerous yeah so we're just walking back in a little bit further into where these boys have just said it's a bit dangerous they said don't go down there people will take everything you've got they won't even leave you with your underwear it's essentially what they said I think that's what they were acting out at least but we're going to keep walking towards it give it a go maybe find somewhere else to have another beer that was a lot of fun <laughs> no one had any idea what we're each other were talking about but it was still lots of fun uh, some of the boys came and asked if I smoked weed. I said, yeah. They pushed, they pulled me to one side. I thought they were going to light up a joint. The guy pulled out a pack of coke. So obviously, turned them away. It's not for me today. No thanks. Just continued with my beer. We had a bit of a laugh. And now we're moving on. The 
just uh, coming around, have a look around, ah, meet nice. people, have fun. Well, Hi, see, 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 see. Nice to meet you. Much good stuff. See, the people here are super friendly. I've been warned, I don't know how many times, even by the people here, how dangerous it is. But they're super friendly. That's been the theme everywhere I've been in Mexico. These places do have a reputation for a reason. A lot, a lot of people go missing here in the state of Guerrero. You see the signs everywhere. It's really sad. Just when people say it's dangerous here, they're not making it up. Because the reality is, it is very dangerous. There's a lot of gangs operate here. Apparently there's up to 20 neighborhood gangs in these regions of Lorena and Zapata combined. So there is danger up to now. We haven't seen any, thankfully. I've just crossed the road here because it looks like I'm going to get a good viewpoint. So Zapata and Lorena, these are separated from the main areas of Acapulco. And actually they, the whole city, I say city, this big town, this area, this barrio, whatever you want to call it, is built within a valley. So all around, it's just mountains. It's absolutely beautiful, it's picturesque. So I'm gonna try and find it where it looks like here there might be a good viewpoint, so we're gonna go see it. It's certainly not in El Centro anymore. There's no paved roads here. It's all mud, sand, rocks. You can hear roosters, rooster in a way. No idea what any of this means. Oh, cancer. Ah, it looks like there's something in the way for the viewpoint, but we'll have a look. Might not be the best idea to be venturing around into these quite secluded areas of what is apparently the most dangerous area in the country, or one of. But we're here now. So what can you do? Jaco Mienza. Ah, sir. Oh, wow. Well, here we go, we're gonna follow down this stream a little bit because this looks pretty cool down here. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It does indeed. Look at this. Hello, mate. Iglesia Evangelica Pentecostas La Voz Las La Esperanza. Seems like the dog's here can definitely smell an outsider. I was just glad that boy was on the roof. Looks like I picked up a tail, a couple of dog strays following me. But it seems like they've shit housed it now. That the locals have backed them away, thankfully. I'm usually not worried about dogs, but these guys, they're not particularly friendly. I thought one was going for my leg a minute ago, so thankfully they've stopped back there. So it looks like we've almost made it back onto the main strip now. I'm going to head back. It's been a lot of fun here in Lorena and Zapata. Had a couple of beers, met some funny people, been complimented on my package, or my uh, perceived package. It's been fun, it's not felt dangerous at all. Still, probably wouldn't recommend to come here, even the locals have been telling me how dangerous it is as I've been here. Um, generally, they say if you don't get involved in drugs in these areas, then you're gonna be okay. Obviously, I've been here for a couple of hours, I've been offered it a few times. The best thing is to say no. Even if you do partake in it, usually it's not a good idea to be doing it when you're in these areas. Anyway, heading back down to the main road now. We're going to grab a taxi and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.